okay let's talk about this interview question of generate permutation of a string and this is an interview question that has been asked by a lot of companies so let's develop our thought process first and then we will jump on to the coding of this so the problem statement goes like this that you are given a string or this can be given as an integer array so main thing is like just master the concept and master the thought process because this question can be given as you are given a string or you are given an integer array which contains individual digits and you have to generate and print all the permutations of the elements in the integer array or the characters in the string right so this is the problem statement you have to print all the permutations now if we take an example if abc is the string then individual characters are a b and c and permutation is just the rearrangement of the characters given and print all the rearrangements or all the permutations so let's look at what are the possible permutations of a, a b and c so first permutation is abc this is one arrangement second permutation is acb this is another arrangement where we have just swapped b and c third we can see it's bac so this is also a distinct arrangement of abc fourth is bca then cab then cba so these are all the permutations and if you closely take a look at it if the number is or if the string is length 3 there are six permutations if the string would have been of length 4 there would have been uh, 24 permutation permutations are always n factorial where n is the length of the string the number of characters or in terms of array it will be n factorial if n is the size of the array right so this is the concept of permutation now the question comes how do we go about solving this problem how do we approach this problem so here we are going to apply backtracking once again so this is little twisted form of backtracking so we'll take a look how do we approach this problem so permutation wise this is the string this is our original thing that is given to us and permutations means that we have to fill three places so we will have a three place holder like we will have another array imagine or we have just three places that we need to fill to generate various permutations and we know that total permutation possible are six in this case because the formula for permutation is always n factorial depending on what is n so let's take a look that we have abc as we discussed in the basic concepts of backtracking we always said like at any position or at any place you are you should think of what are my next steps so this is the given string to us and we have to print the permutations so when we have to create permutations let's think of that we have to fill three places which will give us various permutations so first step we have to take now so if we ask okay I want to fill the first place the first blank I want to fill in my permutation so that I can create one two three and various permutations and now let's think of what are the what are my choices if I want to fill the first place in my answer what are the choices from this given string that I have and looking at it we can easily say that our first choice we can pick a because starting with a there will be few permutations or we can pick b or we can pick c so initially first step we have three choices available so this is what we are thinking and when we take our first step after that again we will think the same thing okay now how many choices i have and that is the premises of backtracking keep moving step by step and keep asking hey what are my next choices hey what are my next choices and when you run out of choices you backtrack you go back and you say okay from previous step i'll go ahead and take the next choice so looking at the first choice so first choice let's make a choice of a so this we are generating one permutation and we say okay the first place we have filled with a and then we will proceed generate all the permutations and once a says all my permutations are done we will backtrack from a and we will say okay when we took the choice a we are done with it now what is my next choice the same way we'll take the next choice as b and remember like right now we have not gone down this is just for understanding that how permutation will proceed so once we are done with a we will go back and proceed with b that is our second choice once we are done with b we will go with our third choice that is c and after 
all these three choices are done, we backtrack from C also back and we say, hey, we are done. All the three choices are exhausted. So we are done with permutations. So keep in mind, the basic idea is at every point you have to ask, what are my next steps possible? And the moment you say there is no step possible, we say, okay, we backtrack. So let's move ahead with the original thing. So we know we are taking our first step and in first step we had three choices. So we are going with the first choice first. So we have filled A so far. For now, forget about that B and C are here. So we will take the one path, come back, take another path, come back, and then this algorithm will be very clear to you. Okay, so we have picked A from here. Now A is filled and we have to fill the next position. So question remains the same. What is our next choice? So this place, if we have to fill, A cannot be picked again. So the choices are, so let's imagine there is a separate function written to which we ask, hey, give me the choices. And that function says your choices are B and C. Now, since we have two choices, again, we'll have two paths created here. So first path, let's follow and let's say, okay, we take the first choice and we fill B here. Now, after B is filled, you again call that magical function and ask, hey, what are my next choices? That function says, that you have filled A and B, so your next choice is only C. So we go ahead and say, okay, let's fill C here. From here, there's only one choice. We filled that. After filling C, C says, hey, what are my next choices? And that magical function says, sorry, all the characters have been consumed. There is no next choice available. So that function says no choice. So this guy goes back and says, hey, I'm done. That your choice is over. B call that function magical function magical function said that you have only one choice c b went ahead with that choice now that choice is over so b cannot go over again so b says okay my choices are over let me backtrack to a and say i'm done when you fill b and give me the chance i'm done with it now a says okay i had two choices with me i had b i had c choice my b choice is done and C choice is still pending. So let me go ahead and go with the C choice and give C a chance that you also create your permutation. Now C again ask the magical function that give me the next possible uh, option, next possible choice. So that function says your choice is B. So C goes ahead and fills B here. And after B, there is no other choice. So B says, hey, I'm done. This is the permutation. And after this is done, C says I had only one choice. I had gone that path. Now I need to return back to A. So this returns back to A. A says, I'm done with both my choices, B and C. I'm done. So A goes back to the main and says, hey, you go ahead with your next choice and fill it. Now we come to B. Now B again has two choices here. The first choice that B has is A. So B says, okay, let me go ahead with my first choice. And once that first choice is complete, I'll go ahead with my second choice. And after that, I'll be done. Now B, A has been filled. A has only one choice, that is C. So A goes ahead, fills that choice and says, I'm done. So after B, A, this says, I'm done. It reverts back to B. Now B said, I went ahead with choice A. One path is over. Let me go ahead with the next path, which is B, C. And C says, okay, I have only one choice because B and C are filled. I have only choice A. So let me go ahead with A. So it generates the next permutation. Now, once this is done, C says, I don't have any other more choices. C goes back. B says, I'm done with A. I'm done with C. There were only two choices with me. I'm done completely. B goes back. So we come back again and we say, let's go with C. C again has to think, who, what are my next choices? Because those many back paths C has to take and after all the paths are done C has to backtrack. So C says okay I have one choice as A so that is my first choice let me go ahead with that. A says I have one choice B let me go ahead with that create a permutation and print after that A checks do I have any other choice no so A says okay I'm done A goes back to C and says hey C after you you gave me a chance to A I'm done now you can try your next option so C has second option as B so C goes ahead with B. Here B has one choice A. That is done. So C B A is done. It goes back. B says I am I have run out of choices. C says I have run out of choices. So I am done. So these are our permutations, right? So this is what the algorithm is. Now, if we have to convert this algorithm into code, we have to keep certain things in mind. So there is a smart solution available, and for that smart solution, we have to figure out certain steps. So let's try to understand this 
and in next video we will go and implement our permutation logic so here we saw like at every step we have to keep track of choices that we have and for each choice we have to call recursively right and the question is how do we keep track of what choices i have at every position because i said we will call a magical function magical function will tell that what are our choices so what we do is rather than writing that magical function separately what we do is we do swap and track now, swap and track means we keep swapping the letters which are fixed which cannot be reused we keep shifting on the left side and the letter that we can use we keep putting them on the right side so we will take a look at what is this swap and track trick in the next video but keep in mind that somehow we need to remember that these characters are done and those are not our choices again well thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video where we'll do the implementation of it